Welcome to the Ultimate Fan Cast, where fans are the stars of the show. Got game? You know we do. Join us for a short game with one of our Ultimate Fans, where Battle Bunny fans get into the games. We're going deep into the rabbit hole this week with one of the co-founders. It is none other than John Briggs. You know him and love him as Hoplite. And we're going to yeah, test your knowledge good. now. All right, I was trying to stall because you got me. Yeah, yeah, because you're worried. <laughs> How are you going to do with name that bunny? Right. Bunny. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Uh, no <laughs> first up, name that bunny. That is um, Hoplite. Yes, easy one. Yeah, that's super easy, right? Like I had to start you easy, right? Yep. Um, and I already saw you had this in your hand, so you know yep. who this is. That's one I wouldn't normally get if it wasn't for the TCG. I've seen the art, love the art. We did some time lapse video of it, but that's Tobin, um, and that's uh, the, you know part of the TCG. And, and Tobin is a playable character in there. Um, you know, Tobin is a bard, which um, yeah, it's it's common in in in. Uh, I just watched a movie that was super good. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I think, Honor Among Thieves, and the guy's like a bard. Um, so Tobin is a bard, and he's got some magical powers that that bleed into the TCG game. But Tobin will also be in. I would give him too much information here, but Tobin yeah, will also lots play, of alpha. play a part. <laughs> love in, it uh, in book two. Oh, very cool. Ooh, nice. All right, so you're two for two. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's Narf. Of yeah. course, that's V1 Narf. Cause that's yeah, this the, is V1. This is right? this is the this is the Battle Bunny version of him. Yep, yep. Um, that's that's the 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 first one. I'll go back to this Grace so Murphy or no? Okay. No, um, caught me off guard there. But the um, so, you want me to go back to the Narf? Yeah, the Narf here. So um, what's cool about this is if you see this, and even if you saw you saw, I know you, you pulled out Jack Beards last time, and maybe he's a character in this stuff. But what Frank did, um, well, uh, he took. The, the the traits that 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 Mike Jackbeard had created, and then that novel character has got the eye patch. It's got the same color scheme, all of those different things. So Narf has that toxic skin, and there's a picture of him back there and stuff. So um, we actually this is something different. We um, that we couldn't have done if we did the old contract um, in series one. I originally had a um, an ultimate hero called Cyclops with a with an H. And it had, because I just like the laser eyes and things like that. But um, as the story came out, it's like Narf is in there. Christikins is in there. Jack Beard's in there. Um, when we figure out we can name the stuff, I was like, we got to change Cyclops into um, the, what Hoplite, like the V1 of Hoplite. So all these different characters can kind of be in here. So my uh, Hoplite NFT in series one was originally uh, a different looking bunny called Cyclops. Maybe we'll bring him back at some point. But that that oh, is yeah. not that, a true question. That, that would be that would be very it, cool it, to see uh, to see yeah. that. Uh, is this? Right. I don't know this because a lot of is this disco fur? No, no. no this isn't no. disco fur. But it's um, a pirate. It's a pirate. It is a pirate. He's a famous pirate within the uh, the community. Okay, originally I said Grace o Murphy, but uh, no, that's not the case. And um, um, okay, I, I knew this. This is Mothy. It is Mothy. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Way nice. to pull that one out. Yeah. I had to think um, about it. The okay. All right. Name that bunny. Um, this one might be difficult. Moonbeam. You knew it. Yes. This yes. is Moonbeam. Moonbeam Sweet. is the librarian um, in the story um, that uh, that is, is in the grimoire scene. Yep. Yeah. And she also works for your team. Ugh. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. You should know this one, maybe um because you named it yep so okay so that is mine in that world um it is kyle kale it's c-a-e-l yeah um i don't know if there's another name the inspiration of that i was trying to sh here, here's how this got named with that somebody wanted to make a trade for me um for their ghost bunny because they wanted one with um a pirate holding a, a bag and I said, okay, I'll do that if you name it. And then I'll name it mine and, and, and make the trade with it. So he named his, and then I named this. And it just reminded me of that movie Willow um, and the, the character in that, 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 that skull mask 
was like Kyle with C A or C A E L or something along those lines. So that's where that came from. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, this is Quartermaster Kyle. That's right, because it's got a Quartermaster uh, hat on. Um, that's how you nice. tell the ranking of the Very pirates. Nice. Very nice. And here's there. what you were talking about earlier. Yep. I had to put him in here. Yep. So let's hop right <laughs> again. And that's what we did. Is we kind of um, we took what Frank had draw, draw, drawn with the 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 art of the book. Um, and we kind of took the traits and kind of matched it up. So that's why you see that the background is the same. It's got that sword of Sir Nunos, um, which is the Smaragian sword inside the book, that, that green sword. And then we threw, um, you guys chatted with Jackbeard about the rabbit's foot before, but we threw that that rabbit's foot in there as a clue with um, with, with with Jackbeard's relationship with, with, with Hoplite. So yes. Very cool. Yeah, I didn't, we, we were all like blown away by that, that, yeah, or at least I was. It's with the rabbit's foot. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. All right. Next up. Name this that bunny. Miss Firefly. Yes. Very yes. nice. Yeah. yeah. This is one of the la latest, one of the newer uh, um, ones that's been done. All right. How about this guy? Yep. There's dark, <laughs> there's dark matter. I had to throw Dark Matter because I love Dark Matter. He's so cool. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. How about this one? This one might be Ooh, difficult. This is Rylan. Oh, man. You know uh, them all. Yeah. Well, dude, we have, I'm not kidding. We have a, a digital mural board <laughs> where every single person's name, their character, we've thrown up there. And it's just trying to figure out where they fit in, if they fit into this one or the next one or this part of it or that part of it. So cool. I've stared at that board. Um, fidgeting for for a long time. So I'm, I, I don't know who the owner of this one is, but it's so cool because everything is black except for that blue flame that just pops. Like yep. this is Anna. Um, Anna owns um, is the is the owner of this one. Who you bought her on Fantasy franchise? So you guys have a connection in, in that world. Oh, so. sweet, yep. nice, yeah, very nice. Yeah, love her, love her bunny. She's this this Valkyrie is awesome. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. How about this one? You probably know who this one is if you've got that Miro board. Um, I don't know this one. Do I get it? Guys, do you, do you have one? Do you have a guess? Do we get a clue? Clue. Uh, I'm trying to think of what their role is inside the community. Um, um is it Doug? Uh, I don't know if this is Doug's or not. Um, the, uh, it, the first part of the name rhymes with bark. Bark. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You tell. It's Parkerville. I, it Parkerville. Uh, okay, Parkerville. Yeah. Yep. Parkerville. Yeah. This Parkerville, is Parker. Yep. This is Parkerville. Uh, okay. Um. Parkerville's not in the story. That's why I don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not all of them are in the story. Not all of these are in the story. I ran out of story people. Yeah. I could have had like Milo or some of the other characters or Sizemore, but. Yes. Uh, um, yep. Also, yep. want to just kind of show off to people who don't know the collections, breadth. Um, you and know, created, all the cool stuff. We created Milo and Sizemore inside the collection as well, so they actually hatched as dragons, which is super cool. So they do, that's, yeah. I actually have them in the name that bunny game. Somebody will get a question with a Milo or a Sonia or a you know Sizemore or any of those. They're that that was the moment where I felt like we have we have caught up to the story and now we can start to tell the story and do some really cool things with it when we started to do those things. Yeah. You know who this is. Uh, um, this is the um, mythic sorcerer. The ultimate right? sorcerer. He's the ultimate the, sorcerer. The ultimate sorcerer. Yeah, yeah. That's the name, the ultimate sorcerer. Yes. Love ultimate that one. Love the background. Ultimate. Yeah, this one's, this one's sick. He's, uh, he's one Greg, of my favorites. Greg's a great background. Yeah. Um, Do you know who this one is? Do I know who this one is? Yes. Your mirror board isn't in front of your... Uh... No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Question. I was wondering that too. I was like, does he have the mirror board? I am the like, dude that has, like, you got to look to see if I got the Monopoly money in my hand or a secret Uno card or something, you know, underneath yeah. my leg. He's but, definitely in the game. This guy's definitely in the game, I'm sure. Ooh, this would be a good Monopoly game. Yes. Yeah, we talked about that stuff um, yeah. at one point. Um, I don't know this one. 
You guys, you guys have a guess on this one, Luke or BBS? Is it Narf? <laughs> Is it Narf? <laughs> I was joking, clubbing. Sorry, man. It's Lothbrook to die. That's okay. it. Okay, that's a yeah. so it's a reason. Yep. You, you, yeah, it's you, a recent. It's a recent a one. But yep, that yeah, was a yeah. clue, that was a clue that you said is going to be definitely in the game. Um, yeah. That was one that I literally like maybe four to six weeks ago. I was like, Frank, have you done his yet? Have you done Lockbrook yet? Have you done Lockbrook? Got to guess. Got to do it. So um, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't this even is know. very important to be in the game. <laughs> yeah. So so yes, it's new. All yep. right. How about this one? This is the last one, I think. Okay, I love this game. I'd love to keep going. This is Commander Frost. Um, it is, yes. Commander mm -hmm. Frost in the book is a Spartan, but you know, all uh, Spartans are really Vikings. It's just they are the elite guard of the Vikings, so they are just yeah. the badass ones that protect King Harold. Um, but yes, this is a Viking class of of Commander Frost. Oh, Commander Frost. Yeah, and he's a badass of badasses. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. he's got, he's got some cool things. Yeah, awesome. No, you did great. Oh, no, man, great. I am annoyed that I didn't get those two. Um, <laughs> I'm, well, uh, yeah. the, the great thing is, is this game, uh, John, we have plans of actually creating a Quizlet type game mm -hmm. that we'll put on the site that people can go like practice and do their own, like, cool, you know, man. get to know the characters inside of the battle bunnies. Uh, Cause I think it's just fun. Like, I, like, and to learn more, they can get into the discord server and read the backstories or they can read the books or they can play the TCG. Like that's the, that's the cool thing about this is like they have different characters in different spaces. They're not all novel characters. They're not all TCG characters. They could just be in the grimoire. They could yep. just, you know, be someplace else. I love that you guys are doing this stuff. Love everything that you do in here. Cause it, um, and, and that's amazing. Cause it is like, like I said before, there's multiple ways to drip out the story or get immersed in the story or contribute to the story. Um, doesn't always need, need to be the novel or the TCG, but this name the game thing was super fun too because um, you know somebody sat down, like Miss Firefly sat down and created, like picked the traits to become that. And then Frank takes that and draws it into these novel style looking characters and, and things like that. Um, people that are taking this quiz, if they go into OpenSea and they, they um, search the, their, the sort the metadata, I think either by novel hero or or there's a, there's a couple hero traits um, that might be a good place for them to uh, to study up before they uh, take the test. Uh, We're coming on our band cast. Yeah, now that the word's going to get out eventually. <laughs> and I've got some other games. We played uh, with Creature. We played a, a game, Your Bunny or Mine, where <laughs> I, I got bunnies that looked like his and like i matched him up and like they're really close and it was had a had a 50 percent chance i didn't want to do that with yours um because you probably know all of yours in your collection or you know and i figure creature did too so but i thought it would just be fun but that one's also hard to pull together because then i have to like compare all this whereas i can just pull down like all the characters that have been named and just uh you know add those into a slide deck so it's a little easier for me i like but, it uh, i like it Yep. But, you gotta, but, yep. And um um gotta throw Grace O'Murphy up in that one. Um oh she's been in there. Yeah, yeah. She okay. was uh oh, so we did that quiz uh, for everybody. No, everybody gets a different quiz. <laughs> like uh there's hundreds and hundreds of names, so we got all kinds of people. Uh uh that uh now now I have overlapped a, a few of them, but but yeah, like the whole goal is to eventually, you know, have several games that people can play that when they come on the show um they they don't they're not all going to have name that bunny they're not going to play you know i want to i want to do something more when we get into the dark dragons um mm -hmm. you know specifically for the dark dragons because um they've got all those cool cool japanese names and um i thought about like having people guess what they think you know the uh, the name is based on some clues we'll give them some clues yeah. So, so we'll do some, we'll do some fun stuff with that, uh, down the road, but, uh, yeah. but we appreciate you playing that game with us. That was, fun. that was fun. And I was, thank you for joining us today. Ultimate fan BBS, Lord L and Brian. That's me. Do hope you enjoyed today's program as much as we did where ultimate fans like you are the stars of the show. We'd be honored to have you join us on a future episode where you can share your story and love of the battle bunnies with this encouraging community. It would be the greatest compliment if you shared something you love about the Battle Bunnies on your favorite social platform today like X, Facebook, or Instagram and tagged us. 
or simply use hashtag ultimate fan cast so we can recognize and celebrate with you and other super fans by sharing your post bonus points if you do both and use an image of one of your favorite battle bunnies or a screenshot of this episode we know you share like and comment because you care about our fellow ultimate fans as much as we do please leave comments too to let us know how we can make this the greatest fan experience for the battle bunnies community this podcast is sponsored by hairstream media your bunnies all the time streaming service okay not really it is just us fans like you giving some of our time to support other fans like you join us over in the battle bunnies community and discord to continue the fun we hope you tune in with us each week so make it easy subscribe now we'll be here to keep you hopping when you need us